Hello class, this is section 7.3 and this is another partial fractions review and this time we are going to discuss what happens when we have an irreducible root in the denominator. So we have this partial fraction and again we have to factor the denominator as a first step. This is a difference of squares. So this is s squared plus 9 times s squared minus 9. So remember that often we will have to use the quadratic formula or something to factor, but in this case we have another difference of squares. So we have s plus 1, s squared plus 9, s plus 3, times s minus 3. And the s squared plus 9 term has no zeros, so it cannot be factored. So let's figure out how to work out this partial fraction decomposition. And the key is to write this all down in this form. We have a s plus b over s squared plus 9. So remember when we have an irreducible quadratic in the denominator, you have to add an a s term as well as the b term. So there are two constants in the numerator when we have an irreducible quadratic in the denominator. This plus c over s plus 3, so this will be normal, plus d over s minus 3. This is our partial fraction decomposition and we need to calculate a, b, c and d. So again, let's uh, multiply both terms by the denominator of the first term. So multiply by s squared plus 9 s plus 3, s minus 3, what we get is s plus 1 equals a s plus b times s plus 3, s minus 3, plus c times s squared plus 9, s minus 3, plus d times s squared plus 9, s plus 3. Alright, and we divide into cases as we always have. So case 1 is just s equals 3, and what happens here is that we have a 4 equals, on the right hand side, um, every term cancels except the d term, and we have d 18 times 6. Solving for this, we get d equals 1 over 27. All right, and now the second case is just s equals minus 3, and we have every term cancelling on the right hand side. On the left hand side we have minus 2 because s plus 1 on the left hand side. Minus 2 equals everything cancels except the c term. This would be 2 times 18 times minus 6 and this gets us c equals 1 over 54. So the last term is the more interesting one. So we need to figure out a way to get s squared plus 9 equal to 0. So we need our third case to be s equals 3 times i. So i is the square root of negative 1, if you may recall. And when we plug that in, on the left hand side we just get 3i plus 1, because s plus 1 on the left hand side. And on the right, every term cancels, so s squared plus 9 is equal to 0, except for the first term. So we have a 3i plus b times 3i plus 3 times 3i minus 3. Simplifying this, you have 3i plus 1 on the left. You have 3ai plus b on the right. And this term is a difference of squares, so 3i plus 3, 3i minus 3. It's just going to be 3i squared minus 3 squared. So what we left on the left hand side is just 3ai plus b 
times minus 9 minus 9 or 3ai plus b times minus 18. We can multiply that out to get minus 54ai minus 18b. So we have to just match the terms with i and the terms without i. This implies that 3 is equal to minus 54a. So a is equal to minus 1 over 18. And just 1 equals, so these are the terms without i. 1 equals minus 18b. So b is equal to minus 1 over 18. And now, just plugging everything in to our original decomposition, we have that our partial fraction decomposition of s plus 1 over s4 minus 81 is equal to minus 1 over 18 s plus 1 sorry, um, minus 1 over 18 s minus 1 over 18 over s squared plus 9 plus 1 over 54 over s plus 3 plus 1 over 27 over s minus 3. 